What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today I'm going to show you how to make static images or static text looking a little bit more interesting in After Effects. So we're up in After Effects and, I'll gonna, and I'm going to make a new composition right off the bat. Let's just do a standard HD format and we'll call this non-static text. I don't know. Just gonna make this background black. So I dragged in a logo from an unreleased Dreadlabs project. Uh, more on that soon. But um, you can just use any text or any logo or any graphic that you want to load in. Um, doesn't really matter. But if we would use this on social media or whatever, it would be a little bit boring. You know, it would just be a logo, uh, nothing special to it. So today I wanted to show you uh, some techniques that we can make that we can use to make this a little bit more interesting. And we're going to do that by using a Dreadlabs product called the Video Overlays. And it's up in the web shop already. But I wanted to do some projects with it and show you a little bit how I tend to use these video overlays. So the Dreadlabs overlays are vi five video overlays, both in 4K and HD. Um, and I'll just go and let, uh, load in five HD uh, overlays because this project is in HD. And the first thing I want to do is drag in a noise overlay. And like we do this in Photoshop, um, if I put the blend mode to overlay and make sure that there's a black background. All right, now if we zoom in here, you'll see a little bit of noise once you play it. So this is a little subtle grain uh, that I like to add to my uh, motion projects. And uh, the way we can actually make this a little bit more apparent is we go to the background and we'll go and to solid settings and we'll give this the dread labs dark gray background and as you can see now the noise is a little bit more visible so there's that and the next thing i want to do is add a displacement map and if we go to effects and presets and search for displacement map and we'll drag it on here and as you can see, it starts kind of looking odd. Um, for now, let's just click None. So the way displacement webs work in After Effects is kind of the same in Photoshop. I have a little tutorial in uh, Photoshop on how displacement maps work. And basically, it's the same thing, but with movement uh, in After Effects. So if you don't really know how displacement maps work, basically, you use another images, uh, for example, light values to displace uh, your set logo. This might sound a little bit complicated, um, but I have a little tutorial on it. It's in Photoshop, but it's basically the same principle in After Effects, but with moving uh, videos instead of images. Uh, so the link is in the description for that. And if you don't really know how it works, you could just check it out. So yeah, there's that on displacement maps. And let's just uh, see how they work in After Effects now. So let me just grab one of these grunge textures. Uh, let's go with this one. I'll show you what it looks like. So these are basically like 60 high definition uh, scanned in paper textures, uh, all like moving around and uh, at very high velocity basically. Um, so we wanna make this invisible. So we just click the I button here. And if we go to the effect controls here of our uh, logo, we can click the grunge overlay. And as you can see, some stuff is happening. Uh, so the max horizontal displacement and vertical displacement are at 5 now. And let's just make these 10 to make the effect a little bit more visual. And let's see what happens if we play this. And as you can see, the dark and light values of these... Um, well, if we put them to luminance here, then it's ma it makes sense what I'm saying now. The dark and the light values of this video are moving uh, pixels in our logo. So the white parts here uh, basically move the logo further away and the dark parts are keeping it close or basically having moved the other way around, um, which gives this little cool glitching effect uh, without really having to do any like RGB type of stuff, um, if that's our thing. Uh, if we want to make this a little bit more apparent, what we can do is we can drag another displacement map in have this to, I don't know, 20, and also to luminance. And let's drag in one of these glitch overlays. 
let you do this one because it's really, really, uh, well, grungy, noisy, glitchy. So if we go back to our uh, logo and we use the glitch overlay, you can see that this really is distorting heavily. A um, little bit too much, I admit. So if we put this back to five, uh, maybe even lower, like three or two. Oh yeah, you'll see the logo is still visible, but it's like really moving in a, uh, well, I think kind of cool way. Um, so let's just cap our animation at five here, five seconds. So um, yeah, we have a little bit of noise overlay now. We have the logo like kind of twitching, glitching, moving a little bit. Um, and the last thing I like to do is making really subtle position movements with a wiggle uh, position. So if you drag this onto our Dreadlabs uh, logo, uh, you'll see that it moves around way too far. So let's just make this, I don't know, five pixels. And because our um, project is 30 frames per second, let's just make this 30, which will basically mean that our logo is, uh, every frame every frame in our uh, composition, our logo is in another place, which will give this a little subtle shake. And it's not that subtle, so let's just put this to one. I don't know, maybe three. So basically this will give your uh, static images a little bit of more uh, of a grungy like movement and dynamic to make it a little bit more interesting to, to look at, I guess. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's it for the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to get these video overlays, you can get them in the Dreadlabs web shop. Uh, the link is in the description. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, please let me know in the comments or join us on Discord. Uh, and I want to take this time in the video to thank my patrons because they are making me be able to make more videos for you guys, more tutorials, uh, more products, more content basically. So to every patron, thank you so much. So if you don't know, if you become a patron, you'll get access to all of my project files from the tutorials, as well as a 15% discount in the Dreadlabs webshop uh, and some Discord privileges as well. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.